sometimes there comes a point in time where all the animals are taken care of and even though I've still got seven million things to do you just got to get away and today is one of those days where I've just got to get away and I've got a place I like to go to in the summertime when it's warm which it's June now but when it's warm the sun sets literally right straight in front of it and uh, so I'm on this medication uh, antibiotic <laughs> and it's doing this crazy stuff to my teeth and tongue like the more the day wears on the more black my tongue becomes and the more black my teeth become and by morning it's pretty noticeable like it's it's horrible and then I have to brush my teeth like really crazy and for a really long time, like literally, brush your teeth till you wear the toothpaste off your toothbrush. And then uh, do the exact same thing again. Like just load your toothbrush up again with more toothpaste and do it again. And you still haven't really gotten all of it off. But I've only got a couple more days of antibiotics left. And then hopefully that'll be over. So I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm walking down a hillside. Not really paying attention because I'm kind of like looking at the camera. Looking where I'm walking. And there are copperheads out here. Of course the sun's going down in about an hour. Uh, I've got like a little camp out here I like to go to let me uh, bring you back when we get down there so I'm here now I'll go ahead and turn this camera around so you can see somewhat hold this out here like this lake behind me there's gonna be a sun right there that's where the sun sets at of course I'm on a hillside there's a uh, let's see can you even see it it's like a bench here where you can sit there's a fire ring sometimes I come down here and actually set up a uh, hammock sometimes i do a tarp and camp out here but let me set this pack down and i'll show you like what i bring here's a pack them. i got on today it's a sling bag just like my one my everyday carry emergency bag get home bag there's the sun setting over there we're kind of there's a cove over here the main lake here um the main lake goes down that way and there's another cove so i'm kind of like out on a point there's the fire ring. There's a little place to sit. And uh, pretty cool little place. I come out here when I need to think. But uh, anyways, I got this sling bag. I've basically got some water and a metal cup here. I'm not going to go over the whole contents. Um, but I'll just kind of show you like these are the things I bring. There's a fire starter, there's a pin fishing rod, there's a neck knife, a flashlight, and another um, another knife there that's mostly for like wood carving. If you were going to make a bowl or 
make a spoon or something like that out in the woods. But of course we're not living that that crazy today. Down here I've got some more stuff. These are actually uh, tree straps for my hammock. I got a couple of different kinds of cordage in here in case I decide to need to set up a shelter. I've got a silky saw. I've got a titanium wood stove. A small titanium wood stove. I've got a bandana. Now, technically I should have left this at home because I don't really use this anymore. I've got a bigger stove I've been using that fits in this pack. I don't even know why it's still in here. If you want to know the truth, I just forgot to take it out. Traps in there. On this other pocket here, I've got water filter. I've got a spoon, and, this, and then I've got the bushcraft stove, bush box stove. That's probably what I'm going to use today. In here, I've got some coffee. In the main compartment. got some food a mountain house meal I've got a hammock I got some fishing gear I've got a tarp I have a uh, frog togs poncho and I've got a ground cloth and uh, that's pretty much what I take with me when I'm hiking out here in my like own woods and lake area let me pause this and get it set up to get a fire going so I can have some coffee and dinner. Alright folks, I don't know that I've ever actually uh, reviewed this on camera before. But this is the Uberleben Tinderwick. I think I did record a video. I, or I've recorded a couple videos about it. But I don't honestly know that I've actually like uploaded any of them. So let me show you how this works. This is what it is. You have a a cord that's like wax impregnated. And all I'm really doing is fluffing this out some. See there? Fluffing it out. Alright. But hey. I'm in the woods enjoying it not trying to survive so you light it then this goes down Hopefully I don't put it out. That would suck. Kind of like the leaves at the house are a little damp. Now, the, uh, the kind of like thing that you see on there is actually a metal rod or aluminum rod of some sort. I'll show you here in a minute. That would be, whoops, I just dropped it. You heard it there.
I'll let that sucker cool down before I pick it up like that again. That's for sure. But you see, it was pretty straightforward to get a fire going with that. Pretty easy. Works pretty good. Would have worked better if I would have spent some more time preparing this. I'm just basically just collecting some small twigs and stuff off the ground for this. I ain't got really a whole lot going on for dinner. Alright, let me pause this. I'll bring you back in a bit. Y'all, sorry about all these weird camera angles, but I'm on a hill and uh, I'm just making do. But anyway, so basically I use my bush box stove and a GSI cup to heat up some water. The water will then go into the mountain house meal and then I will use some additional water to uh, fix me some coffee. I don't normally throw the food around all over the place like that, but this thing didn't seal up right. Basically got the meal mixed up in the pan. I need more water for coffee before this. I do have a filter with me if I want to get some more water. I got a whole entire lake out there. Let me uh, see if you can see this sunset though. It's uh, getting closer to being like a sunset. When it gets better, I'll walk down to the lake and show you. But let me go ahead and shut this off and we'll be back. All right, so got a little bit of a fire still. Got some dinner heating up. About to make me some Taster's Nasty Coffee. Sometimes I'll take this uh, taster's choice and mix it with some hot chocolate. When I do the long hikes, I like to do that in the evenings. It tastes really good. Hard to do this one-handed, believe it or not. You would think I'm a pro at this as many times as I've done it. Only time I drink taster is nasty is when I'm hiking. <laughs> and that's just because it's convenient. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I go on a long distance hike, I start to crave this stuff when I get home and start to go over to my regular coffee. So it's about, I don't know, 80 some degrees outside. I'm just going to let this sit over here for a bit and cool right here on this log looks like just as good a place as any then come back over here feed my fire now that there's nothing in it we can put a few more bigger sticks in there I know these sticks look huge, but they're so, they're, they're basically wood that has washed up when it's flooded recently and it's, it's really all dead. And we'll take dinner back here with us. And my spoon and my e-cigarette. And hopefully when I sit down I don't knock the coffee over. Oh, perfect. And you can kind of see the sun setting over there. Let me go ahead and shut this camera off a little bit. I'll bring you back when I'm eating.
this is what we're having sweet and sour pork probably one of my favorites I'm going to make you watch me eat all this.